Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam back at you again with another lick lesson. Woo! It's going to be fantastic. I haven't done one for a long, long time. It's going to be a string skipping arpeggio idea with some economy picking. I think you'll really, really love it. Really transferable and applicable. And I think you'll like it. Let's go. Okay, so today's lick goes thusly. <laughs> Okay, so this is a Paul Gilbert style string skipping arpeggio sequence, just in case you didn't guess it already, and it involves some really cool transferable ideas with, with regard to the picking hand, some economy ideas, which I wanted to show you. We're going to start off in this D minor arpeggio shape, and this is really cool. So we're going to start off on a downstroke on the high E, pull off the 13th fret, downstroke on the B, then we're going to do an upstroke. In essence, we're going to sweep back through the rest of the arpeggio, starting from the 13th fret on the high E. So, all upstrokes. So you have this idea. Really nice. And you can play this to make little progressions. It's a really nice repetitive idea. Really love it. And then when you marry it up with this next part, which is really nice, it is a really cool, basically the scarified shape. I like to refer to it as whenever I'm teaching other people. And just to play this slowly. Almost too slow there. And the idea is we start off on the 18th fret of the B, pull off to 15 on the B, Skip over to the 19th fret on the D string, then upward stroke and skip back to the 15th fret of the B string. Then we have this little last part to finish. 19, pull off to 15 on the D string, then 17 on the A. Then if you marry it up with the first part, It's such a nice blend, I really, really love it. And then to marry the rest up, I do an interesting sort of expanded pentatonic idea. We have... I'll play that slowly for you. It's an interesting idea, I just like to throw things like that in just to fill in the space if that makes sense. And then we're going to play in essence the same thing just in using different arpeggio shapes. We're going to be down here, we're going to start off in C major, this is the shape. 12, 15 on the high E, 13 on the B and 12 on the G. And we're playing the same sequence we did before. See, it's really cool. And then we're going to play the same sequence again as we did before, except it's going to be this sequence down here. This idea, but then instead we're going to play it down here. So, just to show you what the shape is, it is 12, 8 on the high E. 12 on the G string. Upstroke on the 8th fret again. Then we have... 12 on the G string, pull off to 9 on the G string, and 10 on the D string. So it's a really nice idea, so just to take you through it slowly. It's a really cool idea, and I really wanted to show you that because it's got all the repetitive ideas, it also teaches you the string skipping skill, and eventually you'll just have loads of ideas under your belt, just to show you how I like to use it whenever I'm noodling around, you know. It's just a nice little thing to throw in that's really flashy. There we go.
Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. On the screen now, there should be a load of other lessons and videos that I think you'll enjoy. Please feel free to click on one of those. I'm sure you can try and mesh it in and lock it in with this liquor I just showed you. Please like, subscribe. I'll catch you again very soon. Bye-bye.